Lady Colin Campbell, once a friend of Princess Diana, delves into the intricacies of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's connection with the royal family in her latest book. Titled Meghan and Harry The Real Story, Persecutors, or Victims, Lady C offers revelations gleaned from insider perspectives, shedding light on the couple's dynamics. In her newest publication centred on the royal sphere, Lady Colin Campbell turns her attention to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's journey. With a keen focus on unravelling the relationship dynamics, ties to the royal family, and prospects within the monarchy, she seeks to provide a comprehensive exploration. It pretty much covers everything. My original book was hopeful that Meghan Markle would stop trying to commercialise and politicise being a royal family member. Speaking to GB News, Lady C said, However, I thought it was about time somebody nailed those two to the post. I went through everything with a fine tooth comb and just absolutely nailed everything that they've done. It's so irresponsible. And so far, their exit has been a total disgrace and a disaster in terms of the Commonwealth, Campbell explains. I think the situation's reversing now that they're being exposed, and they've also exposed themselves. She claims Meghan and Harry are very commercial orientated and two of the biggest race baiters. Lady Colin Campbell believes one of the most devastating accusations made by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry throughout their marriage was claims of racism against the royal family. She refutes their claims, explaining that in fact the late Queen Elizabeth wanted to highlight Meghan's contributions to the family as a woman of colour in relation to the Commonwealth of the United Kingdom. When she's asked about whether Archie and Lilibet were born of surrogates, Lady C said, Meghan's conduct during Archie's gestational period have caused people to ask questions especially women who've had children. The Birkenhead incident took place on January the 14th, 2019. Harry and Meghan visited Birkenhead. They were already aware by this time that bullying allegations had been lodged against them. Meghan had already arrived from a trip with a huge belly that she presented like a watermelon. She took to the stage at the Royal Albert Hall in December 2018 and was huge. Meghan and Harry had antagonised the staff and caused consternation at the palace. There are junior level employees who work at the palace because they want to have this on their CV, rather than because they're loyal monarchists. These junior courtiers leak information for money. The press were reporting on this in a measured way. Meghan and Harry knew their reputations were in question. Meghan arrives at Birkenhead and there was a bump in her abdominal cavity. Then all of a sudden, the bump was no longer in her abdominal cavity and was between her legs by her knees. This calls into question as to what Meghan was really worried about. Was she really worried about being called Duchess Difficult, or was she in fact worried the press would report about her mysterious prenatal activity? This is all based on Meghan's conduct in the timeline. Remember the mainstream media didn't cover this. This was all noticed by people viewing Getty images that Archie appeared to have amazing prenatal diving skills. There's no doubt that Meghan's behaviour during the gestation period was remarkable.